Hey friends, Skippy3 with you here at 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. This is my base day one. If you're just joining us here for the first time ever, what base day one is, is we start a base literally on day one, we live in that base, all our production is in this base, our storage is in this base, and we take on the hordes. All in one base. So that's the intention of this playthrough. Everything is vanilla. The only thing that has changed is uh, Max Alive is 64 per wave on Horde Knight. So this is our uh, Horde floor here where we take on the Hordes. It's uh, been pretty successful so far, but we need to go and mine ourselves some materials now to get this all repaired, upgraded, and uh, I want to start doing electric uh, traps and stuff pretty soon. So we need to start doing our... Uh, wings here of defense going outwards so we have a lot to do so first thing i think i'm gonna go ahead make sure my inventory is okay we're looking good here there's a few things i think i need to drop off and uh i'm gonna go ahead and grab all of my stuff i need we have rock candy here i can't forget those and uh maybe some coffee too just in case we need some stamina here we go so we got some rock busters and we also got some coffee here. So I'm going to grab up some food. We have lots of cans. I'm kind of getting a little squishy on the food situation here. So it's not always a good idea. Uh, we're going to have to get our farm going sooner than later. But we do have a lot of sand being forged here. We can actually probably now make a bunch of bulletproof glass blocks. So let's uh, see how many of those we can get on the way. 21. Awesome. It would be nice to have that all sealed in. we got to finish our bird trap up above. We're not going to take a look at that yet. We're going to take a look here when I come back home so let's go ahead I have gas I have repair kits uh, we are good to go I'm gonna drop off some of this extra ammo and weapons and I'll see you guys over at our strip mine oh look at this flying through and it looks like there's a wandering horde actually working uh, its way over there actually is that where it stopped that's a, that's a little weird so there's just a wandering horde kind of chilling out out in the desert by itself that's cool though at least it won't bother us here over at our mines. We're going to be mining a lot of, uh, overnight underground, so we should be relatively safe. Should be inter interesting to see how this goes. Oh, we got to turn around, folks. I have gone, done, and did a stupid. I totally forgot about my infection here. You guys are probably screaming at me once again. Uh, but it won't take long to get back home and get this fixed up. That's my bad. Whoops. Welcome to my big hole. As you can see down here is where I have been doing all my digging. So we've been digging all the um, iron out of here. This this area literally has everything I need. Uh, sometimes I dig stone out this way so I can cut down on the heat map. Uh, in here when it gets too intense for us. But there's iron here. Uh, there's nitrate right here. Uh, there is lead this way. And if we go on over this way, there is coal over here. And uh, I do believe I actually hit the coal up here too. If we go over to this corner over here. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's some coal down this way, I believe. I think I made my way to it. Anyway, this area literally has every resource I'll ever need. So since it's daytime here a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that and actually auger out some more iron here. So I hope you guys like music. And I hope you guys like time lapses because I got a little bit of both for you this episode. People say I need to get a little action. People say my love life is fiction. People say I wouldn't give them no satisfaction. Well, I wouldn't know, it's beyond my imagination I keep my pants up high and my zipper closed And people wonder why I never get rid of those Awesome looking sunglasses that I got off of eBay at a special price Anyway, you get the picture right People love to hate a pain no matter wrong or right What I like makes no difference As they go, get a light you people 
Well, it's uh, almost nighttime here, and we have ourselves officially what I would call a uh, screamer problem. I just killed two there. Apparently, screamers can see you through the ground or something, because I can see the screamer, but it could definitely 100% uh, see me. So uh, we're a little bit too hot over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, fly home. We're going to put the resources we have in the forges here and uh, get ourselves some more concrete mix going on because that's what we really needed the stone for. So let's get my butt home and uh, let's get some work done. All right, and home sweet home. And I flew above that uh, crowd of just gathered zombies. Apparently they're still there. They haven't wandered off. They haven't despawned. They haven't anything. So they're still uh, kind of chilling out way over there. I don't know if I attracted them. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a few... Uh, kind of milling about closer now but that's okay we'll take care of them if they become a problem uh so we're home i'm gonna go ahead and uh oh we grabbed only six thousand small stone but we grabbed a bunch of iron so i may as well uh get some more iron ingots on the way uh we need to make ourselves tons and tons of spikes so i'm gonna keep these things here pretty much almost constantly going uh pretty much dedicate one workbench to that at the moment all right let's uh get this stuff all organized and get our forges on So there we go, got all the forges and everything running, which is uh, real nice. Now what we have to do is actually concentrate on uh, making some cement here. So let's grab whatever stone we have, uh, we'll grab whatever sand we have. We have to dig out some more sand soon too. You guys seem to really like the sand time lapse, so uh, we'll definitely be hitting that one up again. Uh, I'm glad you guys actually really enjoyed that. Uh, so let's see how much concrete mix we can make. We can make uh, 6,553, so we'll make 3,250 in one, and uh, the odds and ends here in the other. There we go, 3,303. Yeah, we don't have very much concrete at all. We only have uh, 1,000 there and uh, 1,000 in there. So uh, we'll actually save this up, wait for a little more to be made, and then we'll go and uh, continue working on the exterior of our build. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, I'm going to get this stuff organized, everything put away. I'm going to take these iron darts and actually uh, put them into our ammo chest for now. I think we'll be okay for a few horde nights actually having to reload those. So uh, we don't really have to worry about them. And oops, I used the wrong damn button put all my good ammo <laughs> away. My bad. Okay, that's okay. We can fix that. There we go. All right. There we go. And uh, next on the docket is just really to put everything away and get all organized. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do while we were out? I forgot to use a rock busters, damn it. Oh well, we're going out in the morning here again. I'll, uh, I'll use the rock busters. So I've spent most of the night here just kind of doing all the boring stuff, getting my food together, getting everything organized. Uh, we have a whole ton of glue on the way in the chemistry station. Uh, so it's a good time to leave our base here so we just don't end up fighting Screamer after Screamer here as well because we got a lot going on. Now I do plan on uh, powering up some more forages and increasing our production as time goes on, especially as we get to the uh, electric traps. Is my... wow, those 
That was weird. It's like the animation didn't finish because I wasn't looking at it. Are we living in the Matrix? <laughs> anyway, it's 3.45 a.m. Uh, it's pretty much time to head on over. We're going to be going for uh, more of stone today. So we're going to be digging out our tunnel. Uh, we're looking pretty good on iron, so I'm not uh, really too worried about it. Uh, and holy crap, potato on that one. Except for there, look at that. <laughs> that was actually pretty damn sick. Wish I got that with my camera. Anyway, let's head back over to my mine and uh, do some damn digging. So let's do this. You guys know how this goes. I'm kind of just digging down here. I think for fun this time, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, go down a few blocks, kind of dig out underneath, make a whole bunch of little like mine-like tunnels. Um, I think that would be super neat, but it is time for one of those things you guys really like called the time lapse. Let's do this. I'm going to, uh, you know what? I think I'm actually going to go down two blocks and uh, start that right back here. I think that would be fun. Here we go. Make myself a little entranceway and uh, we'll get going. Alright, so we went down one length here of the tunnel pretty much, I think. We got one, two, three, four, five, and a little bit stacks of stone. Now that doesn't seem like a lot of stone, that is actually a very good amount. So uh, we're going to get ahead back here. Now, I must say I'm not a huge fan of the grind, but being able to see myself in third person kind of digging through the ground... I'm going to admit, it was actually kind of cool. I was enjoying watching it, but uh, that adds a new whole dimension to mining, that is for sure. We still got two minutes here left on our mining, uh, on our Rockbuster 2, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, take advantage of that and uh, start busting out a little bit more of this iron. Uh, we shouldn't take too long, it's only two minutes worth, so may as well. The heat map probably dissipated by now, too. Oh, we got the South Screamer! What is up? So, uh, I think I may have messed up here, guys, with the, uh, the Rock Busters. Let's go up above. Uh, I don't think she called any in. Oh, she did, too. Oh, and only a couple of them are feral. We should be okay, though. There we go. Holy potato here today. There we go. Let's dump off a whole ton of bull. Oh, of course! Excuse me, lady! Excuse me! Oh. All over here causing problems. Good thing I got my auto shotgun. This really takes care of all the issues here. There we go. He's down. And we got another runner here. He's down too. Thanks for the free XP here, guys. 
Uh, but uh, let's take a look here at our rock busters, as I was trying to say before we got... Okay, so it is mining harvest. Uh, it increases the amount of wood, ore, and stone. Okay, so I was thinking it was only ore, but I'm glad I went back and read this and confirmed it. Uh, but I learned something else. You can also use it for wood, too. So that is, uh, that is kind of useful. Speaking of wood, I'm going to go and actually, uh, slap on... Oh. Where are you? <laughs> I just wasted a ton of bullets for no reason, but uh, that was fun. Holy Screamerville, though. Looks like we got some uh, Screamer action going on. What I'm going to do is run over to this bush here and actually chop myself down a few trees. Uh, we don't need very many. I just like to keep my wood topped off. Okay, yeah, there we go. Leave no tree standing. That's how I play Seven Days to Die. So we'll get rid of those stupid seeds. I was worried about replanting them. Don't really care anymore. That's over. Uh, I'll just go to new areas and chop down trees. It really doesn't bother me. Anyway, we got a whole bunch of stone. We got a whole bunch of iron here. What I'm going to do before we take off is actually hit up the uh, trader vending machine and uh, see if it has any more of the rock busters for us because I can always use those. Okay, here we go. So, uh, taking a look, we got Skull Crushers. Um, I'm definitely going to buy those. Um, but we don't have the ones we want. I, actually, I'm going to buy all of them in here because I like collecting them. I don't know why, but I'm going to take them all. Rarely ever use them, but like taking them home. Uh, other things I should buy is actually just like canned goods too. Because uh, we're lo running a little low on the meat end, so may as well grab some cans. Cans are actually pretty cheap in the vending machines. All right, right on. Okay, so we got everything we need. Let's head home. We got to get ourselves some more sand. We're going to dig out another side of our base in preparation here. All right, and we are home. So we actually don't have much to do. I don't even need to go upstairs. What we do need to do is actually start clearing out this area over here. And oh, look, we're going to get some oil in the process here eventually, too. That's kind of nice. Uh, but we need to clear out this side as we did the other side. We need sand anyway, and we need a lot of flat land. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the end over here. I'm going to go out um, X amount of blocks. I don't even know, maybe to here. And uh, we're going to start digging up. Oh, look, there's a, uh, there's a loot out here. What's in it? Oh, a level one steel shovel. Isn't that nice? There we go. Um, at least that will give us metal tool parts, four of them. Uh, I guess that's useful, or steel tool parts. Okay, guys, well, since you guys loved the lasagna, la or the lasagna time lapse last time, I guess you'll enjoy it this time. Let's get it on.
Okay, and there we go. We got another chunk of this kind of cleared out. I messed up over here. It can get uh, sketchy. The way you kind of fix this area is uh, where the ground is all uh, uneven is to actually uh, put fr uh, frames on it. That'll help you out. See, like this one here, the frame sits on top. That means it's still a solid block. But this area is real sketchy, and I accidentally went down one layer too far, which really, uh, in the end, isn't a big deal because uh, we'll be building around it anyways. So uh, if need be, I'll fill it in as we go. But there we go. Like one little sketchy area over here. That wasn't actually a bad dig at all. We got a lot done. Uh, so let's take a look here and uh, see what I got in my inventory. We got one, two, almost three stacks of sand all that deal. Uh, plus one, two, almost three stacks of clay soil too, which is uh, pretty damn cool. Right on. Okay, so I don't really need to do this right now. Just kind of be an OCD about it. Uh, what I'm going to do is go up to my base here, get everything put away, make sure my forges are going, and we'll have to call this an episode here, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. I know I'm enjoying the crap out of doing this. Editing is a lot more fun for me. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay classy. Always back up them game saves. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck.